Halfway between Christmas and New Year's, we have two systems and the Winter Classic and the Mummer Spray to talk about during this video. I'm Jaron Green. Once again, and most of my videos have been done up from Penn State in front of the green screen. For you the bottle of water, I am uh, have a cold right now, which should end around just in time for New Year's. It's started about Monday, so it should be over in the next 48 hours. Hope everyone enjoyed their Christmas holiday. Help the mummers who are doing well in their preparations. Here's the forecast over the next five to seven days. We'll have two weather systems coming through. One Friday night into Saturday, and another after occurring after and another bringing rain after just after the parade. Now the forecast I have specifically will be will have to be refined. We'll have about a quarter of an inch of rain in the city of Brotherly Love in the days before the Mummers Parade, which is, i.e., Friday into Saturday. For Saturday, we'll see cloud cover decreasing during the morning, and it should remain partly cloudy from the afternoon, that afternoon, through Sunday morning, which is New Year's morning. For New Year's Day, we'll have increasing temperatures, cloud cover, and wind during the morning into the early afternoon. The high will be 53. The rain arrives at, at the end of the parade and diminishes after midnight. The wind will then the wind will decrease as the rain occurs. Temperature will hover in the around 50 as the parade ends. We'll have cloudy skies overnight. With lows in the low thir in the 30s, I should say. As far as the winter classic is concerned, cloud cover will decrease throughout the uh, late afternoon, throughout the, the er, from the er, from the afternoon into the evening, with temperatures still comfortable but a little colder than they were for the parade. Now for the parade, the string man's order is as follows. Marching order. Duffy, Freylinger, Brumont, Aqua, South Philly, Polish American, Uptown, Furco, Quaker City, Avalon, Kensington, Overbrook, Trilby, Pennsport, Durning, Hageman, and Woodland. The top four will be Freylinger, South Philly, uh, Furco, and Quaker City, not in that order. And this was a similar. It was a very similar marching order than on a cut from last year. So we should expect similar results to last year. After that, we'll see the next three be Aqua, Polish American, and Avalon. Avalon will probably get fifth place this year. Other showmans will round out the top. Will round out the will finish in their usual spots. Pacific Stream Man, my former one, Durning, will probably get the... probably be still be very close to the top 10. They're doing a wheelie motivated theme. So it should be very interesting to see. The Mummers Parade. Wish I, wish I wish all the Stream Man's luck. And I will have a forecast video for you tomorrow night or Saturday during the morning or afternoon. And I will see all of you on the street. I'm Jaron Breen. Have a great day.